Good morning, students. Today I am coming here to discuss something about the human heart, uh, which is uh, under the syllabus of class 10, uh, this chapter life processes. So before starting this uh, explanation, I would like to tell you that human heart, it is a part of the human circulatory system. So circulatory system, this word as it is coming. So I would like to tell you what is a circulatory system. So you know, we are the uh, multicellular organisms. So in a multicellular organism, there are so many cells, so many tissues, so many organs are there. So the main purpose of these uh, various types of uh, life processes to make the cells active. That means various life processes like nutrition, respiration, like this. So these uh, life processes, they are occurring to make the cells active. That means ultimately everything it is going to the cells. So these cells, how they will get this, all these, uh, you know, materials starting from food till oxygen. So how this cell is getting? It is because of a transportation system within the body. Because some cells are very uh, present in very remote areas of our body. So which cells are, they never come in contact with the uh, surrounding atmosphere. So they cannot take the oxygen or they cannot take the food or water or minerals directly from the atmosphere by the process of diffusion or osmosis. They cannot take it because they are uh, present at a very inner part of our body, very remote part of our body. So for them, there is a system which is providing these materials to that particular cells. As uh, we can say that, uh, you know, when you are um, ordering one material in the uh, online shopping, so then the courier service persons, that for example, the Flipkart or the Amazon, so these members, these um, delivery boys, so they are bringing the materials towards our house. We are getting that material same way in our body also so these materials which are present in somewhere they should be brought to somewhere so within the body so it is performed by some uh, system so that system is said as the circulatory system and in case of human the main circulatory system is the blood circulatory system and this blood circulatory system is made active because of the presence of the heart human heart so that means heart is the a major organ of the blood circulatory system of human. So this blood, uh, heart, this heart of human, it is a organ which has four distinct chambers. That means the heart is divided into four distinct parts. Okay. So these parts, the upper parts are said as the uh, atrium or you can say auricle and the lower parts are said as the ventricles, okay? So this uh, upper and lower part, there is no means separation. The blood can flow from upper to lower. From lower to upper, it cannot flow, but from upper to lower, it can flow. But uh, as I said, your four parts are there, right side and left side, two parts. So from left side to right side or right side to left side, the blood cannot move. That means the blood is separated. So it is done by one uh, membrane, one very thick membrane is there, which is said as the septum. So septum is present due to which the right side blood of the heart cannot mix up with the blood of the left side of the heart. So there is a reason why the blood from left side of the heart does not mix with the right side of the heart. There is a reason. So that reason we will discuss in our next classes. Okay. So today only I will discuss about the, uh, these various four parts, the four parts of the heart and their functions I will discuss today. So first of all, the upper left chamber, upper left chamber of the heart, it is said as the right atrium or right auricle. So you will be surprised to hear or you may think that sir has made some mistake. The left, sir is saying the left upper chamber and name say the right auricle or right atrium. But it is not a mistake. So you 
should know that in the diagram which side we are looking as the left that is for the heart it is right which side we are looking right for the heart it is left because you see let my heart my heart is present here in this portion so for you when you are observing me for you this side is your left side but for me it is my right side so that is why in the heart there is a very confusing thing no? most uh, most of the students they are feeling confused that left side is writing right right side is writing is left so it is because of that one so the upper left side upper left chamber of the heart that is said as the right atrium or right auricle okay so that part uh, receives or collects the oxygen poor blood that means the blood which is uh, having less oxygen which is having more carbon dioxide that blood it is collecting so that blood is coming from where yes that blood is coming from the various parts of the body various organs various uh, cells various tissues it is coming through two main big veins okay about veins and arteries i will discuss later and you may know also so if you know it is no problem if uh, you don't know if you want to know then you comment me later on i will make a video over that so now uh, through one big through two big veins so they are brought to the right atrium so that two big veins are one is the uh, superior vena cava and one is the inferior vena cava so vena cava means big vein okay so which is bringing the uh, oxygen poor blood from the upper part of the body heart is here so one part is upper one part is lower of, of our body so from the upper part which vein is carrying the blood towards the right atrium that is the uh, superior vena cava and from the lower side which is bringing that is the inferior vena cava so that two veins are bringing the blood towards the heart and uh, it is collected by the right atrium after that from the right atrium it goes to the right ventricle lower part lower uh, you know lower left chamber of the heart so it is going how through the oreoventricular region where there is a valve so you may ask me that what is a valve so valve is actually you know like a door you just uh, imagine like a door so which is opening only from one side from one side only opening from the other side it will not open so like that one door you think so this valve that is known as the tricuspid valve so what is tricuspid that means it has three cuspids as the doors contain sometimes one uh, is there sometimes two are there so like this this one contains three cuspids three parts means so through which the uh, oxygen poor blood goes from the right atrium to the right ventricle okay and from the right ventricle it is going to the lungs through the pulmonary artery remember the names so in the lungs why it is going because to exchange the gases that means uh, it is now full of carbon dioxide that carbon dioxide gas will be left out in the lungs and then uh, oxygen will be uh, collected and then after after collecting oxygen that blood is, will become the oxygen rich blood and that oxygen rich blood will go again to the heart and now this time they will enter into the left atrium that means upper right chamber that is the left atrium and it is going through another vein that is said as the pulmonary vein so from the right ventricle the impure blood that means oxygen poor blood is going to the lungs through the pulmonary artery and from the lungs it enters into the left atrium of the heart through the pulmonary vein so remember one thing that those arteries or veins which are connecting the heart and the lungs that are called pulmonary now from the left atrium the blood will go to the left ventricle okay so this time also it will go through one uh, 
valve and that valve is said the bicuspid valve or another name is also there that is the mitral valve so bicuspid valve is also called mitral valve that you remember so it as it is a bicuspid valve definitely i think you understand it is having two cuspids so after reaching the uh, left ventricle the oxygen rich blood will be distributed whole over the body through two big arteries and big arteries are said as the aorta so two big arteries are there two big aorta are there which are distributing the blood throughout the body and that are one is the superior aorta another one is the inferior aorta so superior aorta brings the uh, oxygen rich blood towards the upper part of the body and the other one inferior aorta will bring to the lower part of the body uh, basic structure of the human heart the various parts and their functions i have explained today if you have any doubt you can message me or you can uh, comment here below this video okay and in my next class i will discuss i will continue or i will come with a new topic till then bye bye